Hello everybody, my name is Robert, I'm the corporate chef for Azamara and uh, yeah, being at home, uh, I do a lot of cooking and today I wanted to show you uh, some simple dish. Um, we're gonna have some Thai food, um, a green Thai chicken curry. Green Thai chicken curry, very simple, very straightforward. Um, if you follow the, the instructions on the package, it basically says add some chicken, a little bit of coconut milk, um, I want to make it a little bit more special, put a little bit more love into it. Um, so, and that's what I'm going to show you. So, what do we have? We have a pan on the stove, uh, heating it up slowly and nicely. We're going to add a little bit of oil in there, just so to saute the chicken. Um, what else do I have? I'm going to add some mushrooms to it. Um, some nice mushrooms which we're gonna chop up. Um, I have a little bit of onion, garlic and ginger, always good in Asian dishes. Add some extra flavor to it. Um, we're gonna finish off the whole dish with some cilantro which I have here. But okay, let's start with the curry itself. So, I'm heating up the pan. Nice pan to saute the chicken. The chicken is already cubed, so that's easy. Like I said, it's home cooking, very simple. Um, let's saute the chicken. All right. Um, I'm also cooking some jasmine rice. Uh, jasmine rice goes very, very well with uh, Thai food. Uh, jasmine rice actually or is originated from Thailand. It grows in Thailand, it grows in the uh, countries, the neighbor countries like Laos, Cambodia, Vietnam. So that whole area is famous because of the uh, jasmine rice. So jasmine rice, yeah, it's very simple uh, to cook jasmine rice. You have one cup of rice and you add one and a half cup of water. I always add a little bit more because I like my rice just slightly, you know, a little bit sticky, a little bit, not overcooked, but nice and moist, okay? So, my chicken is uh, frying. We're just stirring it a little bit. And at the same time, As I said, uh, a, a, a green Thai chicken curry is very simple. Uh, you just need to add the paste to it, coconut milk, and you're basically done. I like to add a little bit more, uh, like I said, flavor, a little bit more love to it. So I have some uh, fresh ginger. I love ginger. Uh, not only for tea, but uh, just to add it in any Asian dish, basically. So we're just chopping this slightly up, nice and fine. We do the same with the, the garlic. So, sharp knife. I hope you can see that, yes, you can. All right. And then as fine as you can, the chopped ginger. Um, in Thai foods, lemongrass, lime leaves, always good. Um, fish sauce, very famous to it. So here goes my ginger. And you right away have that nice flavor of the ginger, which I added to the chicken. Okay, I see I have to be careful with this uh, point here. It's a bit uh, on, board the ship, on board the ships, the, the galleys uh, are quite high, uh, but still it's uh, sometimes a bit of a challenge to not get, uh, to not hit your head, you know? And I'm a Dutch guy, so we Dutch are quite tall. Um, Okay, so here I have the garlic. Love garlic. Always brings a lot of flavor. It's healthy. 
So, you know, don't be shy. We add that to it. And then an onion. Just half an onion, middle size. Just chop it over roughly. And voila. So what we have now is the chicken, cubed chicken, uh, the garlic, the ginger and the onion. Okay, so medium heat. Oh, that's dip. such a nice flavor already. Not too long, just two, three minutes. So it's uh, really release the flavor of the onion and the garlic. Okay, at the same time, we keep our area clean, of course. That's what I always tell my cooks. Keep the area clean. Um, then I said we have some mushrooms. All right. Slightly wash them. Oh. Make sure that I'm in the picture. Okay, and just, well, if there, ah, that's my uh, alarm for the rice. The rice, like I said, one cup of rice, one half cup of water, put together, bring to boil. I cook the rice eight minutes and turn off the heat. Don't need to watch it anymore. You don't need to, do not lift the, the lid of the rice. Okay, so now we're going to add the mushrooms, these are quite big, so I cut them in, not in quarters, but in six. Uh, you can add, uh, if you want to add some other vegetables, you can add some snow peas or maybe some um, eggplants um, or bamboo shoots, you know. Um, today I just use a mushroom and uh, onion garlic. All right, so here we are. Lovely. Can add that to the. You can see that nicely cut. And this is the chicken with the rice. Uh, sorry, the chicken with the, the garlic, the ginger, and the onion. Now I'm going to add the mushrooms to it. Okay, beautiful. Then coconut milk. Just shake it a little bit. Sometimes when you buy a coconut milk, the, the fat of the coconut really goes down in the can, so you need to shake it a little bit. So it mixes nicely. Voila. That works. Okay, so here we have the paste. Let's see how we open that. From the bottom. Beautiful green coconut paste. We add that to the whole mixture here. Oh, that smells good. I love Thai food. It's uh, Thai food. If you go to uh, Thailand and you visit the Thai markets, fresh markets, it's amazing the fresh ingredients they have. Um, and I love it. When you go there, you can see that they really... Okay, before I go continue that, I need to add a little bit of water. No. Then the coconut milk. Voila. Simple. Here we go. I see that, show that, yes, lovely. Okay, so I added a little bit of water, the curry paste, a little bit of water and the coconut milk. Now I bring to boil and just let it simmer. Um, as I said, I always like to add a little bit of myself to it. So 
I added extra onion, extra garlic, extra ginger. Also, and let's see if I can find it here. Yes. I'm sorry, I'll leave you alone a little bit. Key ingredient as well in Thai cuisine is the fish sauce and lime. Gotta have some lime in there. Okay, so. <clears throat> I already want to add a little bit of the lime juice to the whole mixture. And the fish sauce. Voila. Not too much. Fish sauce is very strong. And as I said, we bring to boil and just let it simmer. I would say 10-15 minutes. In the meantime, we cook the rice. I cook it for eight minutes, turn off the heat, leave the lid on, and just you know, just leave it for 10-15 minutes. At the same time when your Thai green curry is ready, um, the rice is also ready. Okay. What else? Now, just a quick taste. lovely. <clears throat> it's a little spicy but it's lovely. It's boiling so we keep it like that. Okay, as soon as it is finished after 10 minutes we'll show you how uh, the whole dish looks like when it's ready. All right, thank you.